a gift from the French people to commemorate that alliance and to celebrate America's progress toward liberty for all. With the fall of their own republic, the cause of liberty was faltering in France. Laboulet hopes this gift will rouse a new call for democracy there. He shares his idea with a small group of colleagues and friends. Among Laboulet's most enthusiastic supporters is Frédéric Auguste Bertoldi, a talented Parisian sculptor. He is fascinated by the colossal monuments of antiquity and the powerful impact of using figures of immense scale to express enormous ideas. In 1871, Bartholdi crisscrosses America, gathering inspiration, discussing the project with publishers, politicians, and even President Ulysses S. Grant. He searches for the perfect site and finds it, Bedloe's Island, just a tiny speck of land in New York Harbor. But to the artist, a dramatic stage for the colossal statue he begun to envision. New York Harbor, one of the busiest in the world, teams with international trade and an increasing flow of immigrants drawn to and fueling an unprecedented surge of industry and wealth in the wake of the Civil War. Every ship coming and going will pass the statue in the harbor. New York has become the very gateway to the new world and the freedom America has come to represent. La Boulet sets the project in motion. Authorizing the president to designate and set apart the site of the colossal statue in the harbor of New York. He secures permission to place the statue on Bedloe's Island and launches a massive fundraising effort. His plan calls for the people of France to donate the statue. Americans will provide a grand pedestal for the statue on the chosen site. Bartoli spends years on the design. The ancient Roman goddess Libertas has long been used to personify the idea of liberty. But the idea of liberty is controversial in much of the world. It suggests violence and revolution. In the end, Bartoli's vision transforms the goddess into a bearer of law and light. He calls his statue, Liberty Enlightening the World. It is an immense idea, and in 1875 in Paris, Bartholdi begins to build an immense statue of the figure Liberty.